The thing I promised my people, I may not know how to teach you how to be the best mom and the best wife. I may not teach you how to get married, but we're going to have some money. That's what we're going to have. We may not be the best wife, because I don't know how to be all submissive to them, especially with no king, no man ain't being no king. I'm not going to tell you to bow down and be submissive to this nigga, for real. But I'm going to tell you how to get some money. Yeah, that's, that's what I promise. I promise my people that I may not know how to teach you how to be a submissive little wife, because I'm not married, and there's a reason why. I got work to do in that area. Or you know, maybe I just not supposed to be all booed up, because that's going to take me away from the, the ultimate mission, which is economic elevation. Or maybe God ain't put me with my match yet. But, you know, the truth is, the truth is, I bet you me and my girls don't be broke. I bet you up in alignment with me don't be broke, though. I bet you that. I bet you that. I bet you me, me and mine don't be broke. Be careful who you follow. I bet you won't be. I bet you we don't be broke, though. I bet you that. I bet you that part. I may not know how to teach you to, to cook dinner for your man every day, because I'm going to tell you how you're chef, bitch. Remember that video? I covered the full video a couple of months ago. If you missed it, check it out. The link will be below. But before we continue, I want to give a special shout out to Don May. I appreciate you, brother, for your support for this platform. He is a big contributor and said keep the content coming. So here's another one. The woman in the beginning of the video, that's millionaire coach Stormy Wellington. She's made over $60 million as of the end of 2020. Over the span of seven years, went from the pole to scamming, three babies, three baby daddies. The last one actually married her. He was a pastor. So yes, Stormy was the first lady somewhere in Atlanta. She left the marriage because she said her life was too basic. She believed that she deserved better. So she's co-parenting with him, but also has two adult kids. Her son is doing really well, and he has a lovely fiance, and her daughter is her mini-me, but she's not really into dating because she's looking for a high-value man who's doing better than her. She's in her early 20s and not fully happy with her prospects. She's making six figures, just like her brother, working on the same team with their mother. A lot of women like Stormy. She has over a million followers on Instagram. You know, she has a rags to riches story, from a struggling stripper to now a multimillionaire. She's a top performer in her industry, probably the best and most recognizable, especially as a black woman. She has at least two beautiful homes in two states, a collection of luxury cars, $40,000 plus Birkin bags, a collection of those as well. She also has a payroll. She's paying nearly $300,000 per month for her staff. So even if you're unaware of who this woman is, by now you can tell why the women love Stormy. She's giving hope to all these strippers and all the baby mamas. In the last video, you know, you have people who love her that didn't like what I was saying, but there was even a guy who was not in support of Stormy who questioned her millionaire status. And to be fair to Stormy, even though I don't condone her behavior and her attitude, I cannot discredit the results of her numbers. Everything about her is verifiable and RIP to bankroll fresh, but it's all there. You know, that's really not the point. The point is that men don't care about a woman's money. Having money as a woman doesn't make you a high value woman. The rules are different. The point I'm making is modern women are slowly learning that degrees, jobs, and now businesses, those things don't fulfill you as a woman. Of course, they can buy their own cars. Modern women today, they are even purchasing their own homes. And for the guys out there, some of you are meeting these women in their 30s, 40s. I'm talking about the ones who already created their own lives, 100% alone or with their kids but without a man. Attempting to pair bond with them is impossible. Even the ones who try to change, they can't change because they've been raised this way. They can't break the bad habits. That's why I don't waste my time with them. They wanna argue back and forth, but it really makes no sense because they prove every point I make about them within the argument. But these older modern women, they will not listen to you, especially if she was able to get everything without you. And that's exactly what Stormy was saying last time when I reviewed her. That's why older men, they have to date younger women. You can't stop this 40-year-old woman here from being who she is. I don't care how much meditation, praying, counseling, reading the Bible, her healing retreats, CBD, wine. I don't care what you give them. You can even sit them in front of Kevin Samuels. And by the way, 
they hate Kevin Samuel so much, but he's the one who's at least giving them a chance. But as soon as they cut the video off or that Zoom call, they're the same person. They just can't break their bad habits. At least not long enough to trick a simp into marrying them and being with their kids. This new model of women, like Stormy Wellington, they are built a whole different way, so they can't be reprogrammed. They kinda just get shuffled to the junkyard and picked over for scraps. Before, Stormy said, how can a man who couldn't make $1 million tell her anything when she made $15 million in one year? And she's talking about 2020, last year. Stormy is giving you insight on the modern woman's beliefs. They will never 100% respect you, cooperate, or submit to you if they already had their home, money, and everything on their own. The only way you can get her to act right, and that'll be a real big performance, is if you're making more money than her, and she believes that you can provide for her more than what she can do for herself. That's why they say I can do bad all by myself. Or they'll tell you they want a high value man, but if he's an average man, he's not even worth being with. So you got all of them wanting a high value man, whether they qualify for it or not. I had to tell someone that here recently. There are no 30, 40 year old traditional women who are single. The real ones already got snatched up in their 20s. All the leftovers are the disciplinary problems, the mouths, the attitude, the Stormy Wellingtons. Stormy said, I'm not married for a reason. I say that all the time about people her age. It's a reason. But let's get a little deeper here. Do you know how all these modern women really feel? Take a look at this. Proves everything I said in the last video, as well as the other video of the lady that was bragging about her degrees and her $70,000 per year job. This is what they really feel when they take the mask off. It's just a lot, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. A lot, man. It's just a lot, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of responsibility, man. It is. It is, and I, 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 I signed up for it. I just got, I got, I got to organize my shit better, man. I got it. I got to. I can't play the man. I can't. I can't try to make people. You know what I mean? I can't make a person. You know what I'm saying? Or you can't force anybody to see. No, man, I can't. And now it's, it's starting to become overwhelming to be though. Like, I, I can't do this. It's not going to work. Do you there. feel what I'm saying? I just can't do this. It's not going to work. It's not going to work long term. I'm going to be too, I'm too, I'm too, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm too all over the place. I'm too, I'm too all over the place. I'm too. You see, they feel lots of pressure. They feel the weight of the world on their shoulders. They get tired of working. That's why you hear them all saying they want to be housewives now. The problem is, they realize it way too late. By the time they recognize this, that they want to be a wife and they want a man, they are no longer qualified. We all know women like this. They hate their jobs. They hate their kids. Although they will never say those words because I guess it's uh, not politically correct. Pick their kids up from being at school and after school care for 10 hours. And then they can't wait for them to go to bed. They can't stand their co-workers. They hate those people so much they want to find somebody, anybody who will listen to their stories for hours about their co-workers. And no one wants to hear about it. The modern women of the West, they are extremely unhappy and unfulfilled. And that's what the Eastern cultures are trying to avoid. They don't want their women to turn into these wild women like we have over here. These women are so free and liberated. They can go wherever they want and do whatever they want when they want. Don't want authority for sure. Nah, they're not having that. Yet they're on all kinds of meds or they drink bottles and bottles of wine and alcohol. I mean, the women today, they drink like men. All the degrees in the world, all the jobs in the world, even some of them like Stormy Wellington that may have millions. You know what they're missing? A man. They can't get a husband because they ran them all off saying they didn't need a man. They can do bad all by themselves. And then when the man left, they ran his reputation into the ground because they no longer wanted to tolerate their verbal lashings. Some of them even took him before the judge and dragged them all around the courtroom and back to the front steps of the courthouse. That's what modern women did to the men. We're not even going to talk about how they sabotage your kids. But when Stormy released this video, you know a lot of modern women felt her pain because they're going through it too. Just like Grammy Award winning gospel singer Yolanda Adams. She responded to Stormy and said, Praying for you always. You got this little sis. You know when to shut out the noise and take back control. You are a warrior and have been all your life. 
We all have these days and sometimes weeks, but you said it in May, giving up was never a luxury. And by the way, Yolanda Adams, she's one of those Christian feminists. She was married twice, once back in the late 80s, but said she divorced him because he was putting paws on her. And then again in the late 90s, second marriage did last, well, for seven years. Then they divorced in 2004, but she never revealed why. 17 years later, at 59 years old, she'll be 60 in another week, she is still single. And am I surprised? Well, no. Because as she aged as a woman, from 30 to 40, 50, she further cemented her bad habits. If you decide to date the older women, 30 or 40, just realize you have to deal with these consequences. Her kids, her attitude, all of their horrible habits and disorder that ran every man before you off. Just know you're signing up for that. There's no working on it. She is who she is. You can't mold stale bread. I'm not saying that you can't find a woman your age, but you are definitely gonna want to inspect the bread to see why it's been sitting there so long. I'm just saying, because like Stormy Wellington admitted, it's a reason. Shout out to Rondi Jack, Will Diddy, Dark Power, and Don May. Thank you all for supporting this channel. Wanna see more content like this? You can support the channel as well. The link to the Cash App is below in the description. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, the truth, from a woman's perspective, then you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. Get it before the people need you to shoot the video and put out a camera. You're the only person that understands it. I have to, cause you don't listen until I do this to you. If I don't get like this, you and Manaya, I gotta get like this with Charlie, you don't fucking listen to me. If you become a quality sampler, the person will contact you. Damn, you and Manaya do not like nice. Y'all like me to be in y'all face.